the Ludlow Maiden Hurdle next and we're down to the small fields again and I bet you can't guess the name of two of the people who've got a horse in it it's a three mile two furlong maiden this time and three jokers for you, you guessed it, Obi-Wan this time we're joined by Timeline Vale and Graham Clutterbuck because the third horse is Wizard for Martin Leadham so it's must be calling the Obi-Wan Martin Leadham show this today and away they go Except we're not winning all the races anyway. Timeline Vale is the leader early on. And Three Jokers is second. And Wizard is third as they get over the next. And as I was saying in the previous three run race, or the two run race maybe, take a look at those cards towards the end of the week if you get a chance because sometimes there's some other subscribe races as they get over that one. I can tell you that Wizard running for me is a three mile far furlong chaser usually. But due to wanted to put all the horses in those races this week and the fact that he got a handicap mark over hurdles from last season oh, let's stick him in this three mile two furlong he'll probably finish a furlong behind the rest of them but you've got to be in it doing it and anyway it's timeline veil in the lead we're on three jokers and wizard together as they race past the ambulance swing right handed Grey timeline veil probably be the favourite. I would have thought the three jokers, the top weight on the inside, second, and then Wizard, the long distance uh, chaser, in third. Well, this is quite a long distance hurdle, three miles and two is about as far as they go in the league. I think it's the joint longest. Hurdle races, another three mile two furlong later in the season, I think. And Timeline Vale is the leader from Three Jokers and Wizard as they get over the next, and Wizard's already finding the pace of a hurdle race a little bit much. And Timeline Vale and Three Jokers are five or six lengths clear of him at this point. a bit slow over that one better jump by three jokers pace must have just dropped off a little bit because Sid is getting a little bit closer Tom on Val the Grey continues to leave three jokers hard held in second Wizard back in third and they get over the seventh Vale. He's now four or five clear. Oh, three jokers, wizard now coming up on that one's outside. It's still the same order, just a little bit more, a little bit more spaced out. The leader, Tom Love Vale, is put a little bit of distance between himself and the other two. Wizard has got considerably closer to three jokers. Is still fundamentally the same. Timeline Vale in the lead, three jokers, second, and Wizard third. But Wizard just out jumped three jokers there, has now gone into second. So we've seen an overtaking manoeuvre, which is already one more than we saw in a Formula One Grand Prix usually these days. And it's Timeline Vale in the lead from Wizard in second, and three jokers in third. As they get over the tenth. All safely over that. Past the stand, past the winning post, and then one more circuit of the track. There's the water jump, which I obviously don't go over. This being a hurdle race, and timeline veil by two lengths or so to Wizard in second, and half a length back to three jokers on the inside. Definitely going to be a tactical race. This cat and mouse, almost like one of those cycling races on those indoor tracks isn't it where they go really slow for ages and then all of a sudden one of them goes mad and zooms off they all chase him is that going to happen this time timeline valley in front wizard second three jokers third and down to the final mile now 
timeline veil. Oh, it's gone right through the top of that one. It's the first mistake, and all of a sudden, the three of them are virtually all in a line. Following that mistake by timeline veil, Wizard, in fact, is now poking his head in front as they make their way towards the final four flights and the final seven furlongs. And timeline, va timeline veil and Wizard as they get over that one. That was actually the fifth from home. With three jokers on the outside. We could get a quite interesting finish here. Timeline Veil on the inside of Wizard and then the yellow jacket of three jokers just a length behind in third. Still got four flights of hurlers to take and they're all over that one okay. With Timeline Veil now regaining the lead. Wizard is second. Three jokers is third. Three to jump. Timeline Veil has managed to shake the other two off yet. Two lengths up on Wizard. Three Jokers looks to be going really well in third as they race towards the third last and suddenly they're all bunching up again and Wizard has taken it up and suddenly Timeline Veil vale finds herself in last place and it's Wizard who's kicked on for home with two and a half furlongs to go and Wizard is in the lead two lengths clear of three Jokers in second Timeline Veil's vale gone out like a light and is now tailing off over the third last goes Wizard and three Jokers is back in second and Wizard is racing down towards the final couple of flights then with a commanding lead which was pretty much not expected by the trainer as they get over the second last and Wizard is six to eight lengths clear of three jokers and timeline veils miles behind that one over the final flight then and Wizard the three mile five furlong chaser is going to take a three mile two furlong hurdle in pretty dramatic style probably his final race over hurdles because he's getting one up to the handicap now and he's won that by about eight lengths to three jokers in second and timeline veil a long way back in third so a rather strange end to that race I was expecting that to be quite close um, certainly wasn't expecting it to turn into a procession like that with the three of them virtually in a line with about three to go and Wizard went off favourite as well so obviously some people know more than the trainer because I didn't fancy that at all anyway Wizard's a winner for Martin Liam three jokers for Obi-Wan was second and Timeline Vale for Graham Clutterbuck was third